All right, so starting off with the gear setup, we're going to be going with the crystal helm, crystal body, crystal legs, a bofa, that Avas assembler, anguish, unholy blessing as a zami item, a bandos item as the boots, a barrow's gloves and an archer ring, and then ancient staff, arums top and bottom, blowpipe, and then two stand pots, a bastion. You're going to be needing the cannon base, definitely bring that. Four restores, and then you're going to be using a teleport to get here, and a teleport out. And then you're going to be bling bringing your rune pouch with blood, death, and souls, water runes, bones of the peaches, and then yeah, a way to get here, so a troll item teleport, and then the rest anglerfish. Set up your quick prayers as well, to, you want to be running in, um, you're going to put in melee when you're running, but set it to range and rigor if not then bring eagle eye and then your ancient staff if you're using one definitely set it to auto cast on blood barrage which will be handy so yeah when we go in it when we run in we're going to be starting off we're going to run over to this orange tile place the cannon down and then we're going to be running to where it says start and you're going to hit the boss here and then you're going to run over to this tile. This is going to be the first tile you're going to hit him on as well. And then you're going to be running to this one here. And then this one on the right, you're going to be running there after. Then back down here. And then over to this one. And then the tile in the corner. And then you're going to red click on the cannon. Same as the Zami guy. And then it should drag it to that tile. And then you're going to be running to the left over here. And then back to the start. And that is the full cycle, so that is the way you're going to be running. And then back to that tile, over there, that one, there, there, and then right click, and then it'll bring you back to there, and then just carry on running that way. You shouldn't have to do too many rotations, because you will kill the boss rather quick, especially hitting it nine times and not getting hit. So when you're ready, we're going to stamp it up. We're going to put a melee and rigor. If you want to put Eagle Eye and Steel Skin, that works too. So starting off, run in. We're going to be running straight at that tile for the cannon. And then drop the cannon base down. And then ASAP as soon as you can, run here and hit. Run to this tile and then you're going to carry on the cycle and just keep running. So as soon as you hit, you're going to run to the next tile pretty much straight away. And then that way the buff should pass path like this. And then red click on here. Sometimes be careful though, because you might accidentally misclick on that major there. And then, yeah, you'll probably get hit by the boss. But as you can see here, the boss is not hitting us. And you're just going to keep running like this. You will kill it a lot quicker than doing the 6-0 to zero guide, which there is a guide on that as well. But yeah, so then red click, run through it. Hit it when you get to that tile and as you can see we've only done three rotations and the boss is basically dead so what i'm trying to do kill the major first and then you can drag the melee one over next to the ranger and then you can blood barrage them so the major normally dies quite quick if you're using a bofa but try and prayer flick these as best as you can so once the major's dead pray range usually run over here what you can do as well you can freeze this in place the melee but it's totally up to you, or you can just time them, get them off ticked, and then uh, just prayer flick them like this. So that is basically the first full kill getting into the room. It's probably going to be the most difficult one, just because the boss tends to hit you at the start, because you're placing the cannon down. But yeah, then once these are dead, you are going to run to that start tile, and then we will start the next rotation. So these are pretty much dead, as you can see. Also, if you're full health and you're on an Iron Man and you don't want to waste your runes, just put your um, your bofa back on or you can use a blowpipe, totally up to you. If you want as well, if your health is low and you don't have a lot of food, definitely pick up the bones and use the bones the peaches. That's kind of what we brought them for, but yeah, you normally tend to get a lot of food anyway from this sort of thing without using much prayer and definitely use the altar if you haven't already. So we're basically going to stand here, wait for the boss, the boss is going to spawn over there. And then as soon as he spawns you can normally get like two hits in before you run to the first tile. So whenever he's spawning put your quick prayers on. 
get one there and then a second one and then you're going to start the cycle and that is basically it getting it into the cycle is really easy even if you do mess up you can just run a little bit ahead and it should by the time you get back to the start or even this corner tile it usually sorts itself out anyway so if you want a stamp pot as well it's totally up to you but if your agility is a little bit high you probably won't need to use a stamp pot every kill sometimes when you're doing the six to o method as well you're normally using like a stam dose every kill and sometimes maybe a little bit more whereas this one as you can see the boss is basically dead already obviously i messed up there but <laughs> got punched right in the face but there we go we kill the major again and then that is a first full kill from starting off in the corner same again with this one so when we start we're gonna pray i'm gonna get hit by this one. i'm just gonna show you if we mess up so i'm gonna let the boss get close all right maybe not i thought he was gonna hit me all right there we go so as you can see he hit me there so i misclicked there again so he hit me i'm just gonna keep running to the next tiles if you know he's gonna hit you pray melee and then run into this corner hit him half back through it and there we go he's back in the cycle it's mostly when you get to this starting tile here, wait for him to come close but not close enough to hit you and then start running ahead. And as you can see, you do end up missing him the whole time. The light grey tiles, as the same as the last one, you can walk on them and you'll just save a little bit of run energy but you don't really use that much anyway. So, and especially the kills, the kills are a lot quicker so it's kind of not really, probably not too worth it to be honest. But the options there if you do want to do that. But yeah, come on, die already. There we go. So that is that kill done as well. And we get nothing. Alright, starting off again. I'll give you another preview. So let him get too close. Let him hit us. Alright, so he's hit us there. Right, run to these tiles. Hit him again. The next tile. And as you can see, he's already back in the cycle, so yeah, there's not really much that can go wrong. If you do start getting hit, just try and get back to that start tile. As you can see, I try to make him hit me, and then by the time we get back to that first tile, he's already back in the cycle, so it kind of just fixes itself when you just carry on running, just the way he paths, so yeah, it's a lot easier to learn, whereas the Zami method was kind of like the boss hits like really hard, so... But yeah, then when you're ready, pray range again and just carry on running like this. So that is pretty much it for the method. You're just going to be doing this every kill. Come on, die already. And one more. There we go. Should be dead. What you can do as well, as you can see on this one, I left the ranger quite low health. And then that way he's dead and I can just go kill the major in the melee. Alright, so starting again, we're going to hit this one, get two hits in, and then you're going to start running. And then, as you can see, we've only hit him a few times and he's already half dead, so... It's this important one here, you need to hit the boss on that tile there. If you don't, the boss will end up hitting you, so just make sure you hit him in the corner. And then, once you're back into this, it should be rather easy. I'm not really too sure what the highest kill trip is here that I've done. I think it was like, I don't know, 15, 20 maybe, but I've not really, I've only done about 400 kills on the Iron Man and my energy isn't very good on there, so I'm not too sure how much I can max a trip out, but I kind of need to do the combat achievements, so yeah, I'll probably let you guys know. This is the method I'm definitely going to be using though, it's just too efficient, so. But yeah, there's another kill done. Are we going to get any goods? Um, nope. Alright, as you can see, we have way too many food, so I'm kind of just juggling it. So, back on the start tile. Hit the boss twice. Pot up every new. And then we're going to start running. You normally seem to lose restores here, so... When you get more comfortable with the method, you can definitely bring a lot more restores than food, because you just kind of don't expect to get hit and you can use the bones to heal up if you really need to so as you can see here yeah we messed up there but by the time we get back to here he's already back in the cycle so just keep running to the next tiles and you should be fine right come on hit me there we go right run in the corner 
See on this one, when he gets a little bit close like that, just hit him a little bit early and start running straight away. And then you don't really have to worry about him uh, getting a little bit too close. So, And as you can see, he's pretty much dead. This bofa hits like really well here as well. Right, there's that kill done. And are we going to get any goods? Right, so hit him. Right, run over here. Hit him here. Right, I definitely recommend turning your chat off. This kind of why I turn the chat off. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But as you can see, we're back in the normal cycle, so yeah, it's it, it's very easy to sort out if you do a mess up. So it's not really much of a uh, a method to learn. It's kind of do a few kills and you should get the hang of it. It's more so the timing of hitting the boss because it is a little bit more fast paced than the the six to all. But yeah, you know, it's definitely worth doing this one. I'd say it's probably easier in some senses doing the this one than the 6 to all. And the, as you can see, the minions do hit now and again, but the amount of food we've got, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that is the whole method. Hopefully this does help anyone who's trying to do it. Best of luck at Bandos. And I will also post a link to the 6 to 0 method if anyone wants to learn that as well. But yeah, that is it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy and learn something. If you did, feel free to leave a like and a comment. If anyone's got any questions as well, drop them in the comments. I will reply to you all. But yeah, have a good day. See you later.